Um, so I did say last week that I would be doing more weekly updates um, because I finished my walk all over cancer thing, which was basically taking the place of my regular weekly updates. Um, what have I been up to this week? Well, actually, I've been doing quite a lot. Um, the weather has been phenomenal. Anyone in the UK knows that actually in April, one of two things can happen. You can either have it be like the only days of summer that you're actually going to get in the whole year, or it can actually be so freezing cold it snows. We are currently nine days into April and it's been phenomenally warm, which is amazing. We've had a few days of really, really nice sun. And in fact, it's really nice outside at the moment. And after I've recorded this video, I'm going to go outside. You might notice actually that my face looks a little bit red today, which could be just the reflection of my top, but it is not. I have been outside in the sun and I have caught the sun. I am so pale, I just burn. I'm not burnt, but I have caught the sun. So there's been that. Um... This week, um, it started with a success for me. Oh, I'm in a really uncomfortable position. Sorry, just changing position. Oh, there you go, that's better. I have been studying since about November time for my Microsoft Office Specialist exam um, in Word 2013. Uh, so I've put lots of hours into it, lots of effort into it, and on Monday, I passed! Yay! So I'm very happy about that. Um, I am now a Microsoft Office Specialist in Word 2013. Fully certified, all official, everything. So I'm really, really happy and um, that was a huge relief to pass that because I was fairly confident and I've never gone into an exam feeling pretty confident and a bit cocky about it. But I was thinking, yeah, I can pass this. There was this moment where you click finish and you're waiting for the results because the results you do it all on the computer obviously and then the results are automatic only there's like um, a minute or two as it's sort of loading and the computer records everything you do so it kind of works out what your final score is going to be and there was this moment of a minute minute and a half two minutes something like that where i'm waiting for it thinking oh my god i've gone into this so cocky and arrogant am i actually going to pass this exam um but it popped up that i did so i was really happy because i got I got 90% and I'm really really pleased with that um, that's something to be proud of so now I've got a little badge that I can put on my um, email signatures and stuff at work which is really kind of cool and show offy not like me to show off but there you go um, sarcasm so yes I've got that and then Wednesday my husband and I went down to uh, St Mary's Stadium in Southampton and it's been a long t quite a long time since Saints have um, played at home and they, they did play at home the weekend prior uh, they played uh, Bournemouth so it's kind of like the derby really ever since Portsmouth kind of went um, the local team to beat has been Bournemouth um, and they've been playing phenomenally well over the last couple of seasons actually to get into the Premier League and then stay up as well. It's been pretty impressive. And I, I think they'll probably stay up this season too. Um, and basically they Saints hadn't played at home since the beginning of February. No, beginning of March, sorry. So it'd been a whole month since they played. And they got a draw with Bournemouth. Um, and everyone was a bit, hmm, okay, that's good. It's better than losing, but... And then we went on Wednesday night, and it was interesting. There were some interesting decisions from the ref's point of view. And we were, um, we were quite near the pitch. We were quite near one of the corner flags, actually. That's where we normally sit. But it was just amazing. We, you know, Redmond's goal um, just on half-time, which pretty much save Saints well, got back Saints back into it I don't, if he hadn't scored that I don't know how the second half would have gone because at that point Bournemouth were one um, Bournemouth <sighs> that's not far enough <laughs> Bournemouth was at the weekend we were seeing Crystal Palace it was Saints versus Crystal Palace on Wednesday night Bournemouth was last weekend just like to say Bournemouth 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 anyway so Saints were playing Crystal Palace at St Mary's and Palace were 1-0 up and Redmond scored just on the stroke of half time which pretty much got the Saints back into it and changed the way the match went and then um, not long really into the second half my favourite player, Nayi Yoshida um, 
head of the ball and it almost went in. I was like, oh, I turned to my husband and said, it'd be great if he could score while we're here. And about two or three minutes later, or however long it was, I don't know. I don't pay attention to the time when I'm watching the match. But a little while later, he scored and I was really happy. And that was great. And that was kind of like the winner in a sense. But then literally, I think it was like 40 seconds later, Will Prowse scored as well. And just, that was it. We, we had been so many matches this season. The Saints have either drawn or lost when they really should have won because they had so many chances. So we were really happy about that. So all in all, it was a pretty good week. And then, um, yeah, what, what else have we done? We went out on Friday night with a load of his work colleagues because one of them had left his job there and was doing something else. Same same place, but completely different role. So any excuse to go out to the pub, really. And today, and I will put about this in the next weekly catch-up thing, and you might see some videos and some photos and stuff like that in the meantime. My brother's band, um, my brother is in a punk band, and he's the front man. They asked him to join, and... Uh, He's the youngest brother, that's in a way, but uh, he's the front man of this punk band called The Snags. They're playing at the Joiners in Southampton tonight, so I'm going to be popping down there with my husband to show some support, to have a bit of a laugh, to see what it's all about. I've heard some of his stuff, it's quite interesting. I didn't really know what to make of it at first, but it's not bad. It's like proper old school punk stuff from like the, you know, the 70s or something pretty underground, pretty interesting stuff, so we're going to go and check them out and just show some, show some support because I'm his older sister and that's the kind of thing that you do. Um, so I'll be reporting back on that and that's pretty much my update I guess. So I will see you next time.